Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Place Table tool to link to an external Excel file for all the standard structures data tables. So the first new thing we added in the July release here in 2022 is this standard structures uh, data tables Excel file here. And this should automatically get placed in the uh, engineering data folder, ENG data here under your work set. So for me in my case here, my work set's just in C work sets, F dot, and then the you know, project name is the testing project here, and then the structures folder and ENG data folder. So that's where this Excel file should get placed when you first create your, your work set in here. And go ahead and open up this file. And the first tab in here you can see is a kind of an instructions tab, it kind of explains how to use the, the table itself and the place table tool. It talks about you know how to refresh your data from the tables here, uh, whether it's a single table or, or multiple tables at the same time here. Um, but let's go ahead and jump to a nice easy table here. So let's do uh, let's do like the bearing pad uh, table here. So with all these data tables, as you can see here, we have uh, the table itself, and there's these green shaded cells. So this is known as you know the body of the table, and same thing with this one here. So the green shaded uh, area is just the table body. The area up at the top here is kind of the table header, or sorry, the table title row here, and these are known as the header rows. And one thing that's important to note is all the formatting is actually controlled in MicroStation or you know, OBM or ORD with uh, table seeds that we have set up in the, the DGN lib files. So this formatting here doesn't make any difference. This is just for present, you know, kind of aesthetics uh, when you're first putting in this, this information here to kind of know how things are gonna line up. But again, this information here, the formatting, this uh, the he header in the title row here, this is controlled in the table seed. So this information here does not get pulled into the table in MicroStation. That's in the table seed, that's important to note. The only thing that's going to get imported into MicroStation with that place table tool is what you have here in the body row. So I'm going to go ahead and put some information in here. This first span was 2, 1. And actually, let's change this formatting for that one since that automatically tried to change it. Do text, so we'll do 2, 1 here. Let's span 2, or bridge 2, span 1. And then way this uh, this table worked out here we went to two four and then we can just go ahead and put in our beam numbers And we can, we'll worry about like the wrapping and how that's going to wrap around in, in a second here, but you could always um, wrap it here to kind of see what it's going to preview and look like. But we'll have full control over you know, the column widths and all this stuff when we get into, um, you know, into OBM here. All right, so that's good. That's all I really need for this particular uh, bridge here. So, um, you know, you can leave these in here. That doesn't make any difference, honestly, because the range that I'm going to pull from this file is this cell range here. So from like A4 to E6. So you can, you know, delete these rows or keep them in there. It doesn't, doesn't really make any difference. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and control S to save this file. And go ahead and minimize that. And I'm in my, my file here. Now I'm right just in a, in a sheet model here. There's no need to put tables in design models or drawing models or anything. You can put them just right on the sheet model. It's really the only model type you need for if you're only putting table content um, on a sheet. So to start off with, I'm going to go to that place table tool. And actually before that even, I am in the drawing workflow under annotate and place tables. And then since we're pulling from an Excel file here, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Excel. 
for table seed, we have table seeds for all those standard tables set up here. So I just need to choose that bearing pad uh, I table here. And you'll notice once I do that, it's going to pause and it's going to pull that, that resource from the, um, from the DGN lib file here. And it might need, I think the scale's okay. Um, but let's go ahead and choose that file. So under the little ellipsis button right here. And you notice that it, this does actually prompt me uh, for project wise first. Uh, we have project wise set up here. Um, and that's one important thing to note, right? This, this table, this place table tool works with project wise. So you, your files could be stored on project wise. Um, mine's local for now though, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And I'm gonna go into that engineering data folder, select that file that I just saved and updated. While that's getting kind of loaded in there, I'm gonna go back and check that range one more time. So it was A4 to E6. Now I can choose which tab within that worksheet or workbook that I want to choose. And I'm gonna use that bearing pad one, range automatic. Nope, I wanted to actually do this manually myself from A1 to, I think I said E6. And then I'm gonna click OK and retain association i want that to be turned on there and it's going to take just a, a second here to kind of go into that excel file grab that data and put it in the format based on the table seed here and there we go so i'm just going to go ahead and left click and place this and i'll right click to end the uh, the tool or escape exit the command and give it a second because it's still kind of connecting to that excel file and once it's in there and good, now I can come in here and you can see all this formatting and everything. This this stuff here in this these header rows and the and the title rows here, this is pulled from that table seed like I was talking about. This information here is not connected to the Excel file. Only the table body is down here. And actually I can see here, so something looks wrong here, right? There's there's kind of merged information. I got the uh, title and header rows here and also in here and I think actually what I did which is actually a good accident to make for this uh, in this video here so you can see how you can change things and fix things is I, I entered the wrong range I should have said a4 so if I click on the table I go to my properties over here and I kind of hover over here I can see I accidentally put in a1 to e6 and that's not what I want right I only want the table body so I'm gonna click on this uh, drop down under here for the data source give it a second to load up And let's fix this. Let's go A4 to E6. Click OK. So this is how you can modify that, that table range from the data source right over here in the properties once you click on that table. And sure enough, so now that I fixed that range, that looks much better, right? That's exactly what I want. That's what's being pulled in from this Excel file here. I got, this is the information I wanted. This information here is not coming from Excel. It's just, that's coming from the table C that I, that I have in my resources here. So um, nice thing about this now is I can click on this and, and resize this thing, you know, to whatever I want. And that's it, that's good. Now if we want to go ahead and uh, you know refresh this data source. So let's say I go back to this Excel file here and I change this. Let's just make something real obvious here, right? Zero, zero, zero. And I save this Excel file. All right, I can click on this table. I can right click and refresh table. Or let's say this is a sheet with a bunch of data tables on there. Uh, I can do a key in, so I can do enter on the keyboard. So go ahead and hit enter to bring in your key in, and you can do table. So you can kind of follow it in here. So table and refresh all. Double click on that, and that'll refresh all the data tables in the sheet model at the same time. And there we go. Now we can see that that is updated. That matches the Excel file, so that's perfect. 
And thanks for everyone watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like and share it with others. And I'll see you in the next video.